Hi guys and welcome back. Today I'm making various queso tacos in an instant pot. I first fell in love with these tacos last summer at a local flea market. Um, but finally I know how to make them myself and I'm excited. Now let's get into the video. For this recipe, I'm using three Wahilo peppers, one ancho pepper, and four red chilies, which are very spicy. So the first thing that I'm doing is de-seeding each and every pepper. And for the ancho pepper, you're going to need some scissors. And I'm going to be discarding all the seeds and the stems. Rinse thoroughly and sit to the side. So here I have 2.5 pounds of chuck roast and I'm just going to wash it thoroughly. Pat dry on each side and then get ready to season. Now I like a lot of flavor so I'm adding onion powder, garlic powder, salt and pepper to both sides. Now I want this to cook fast so I'm just going to cut it into little chunks. Then you want to set your pressure cooker to sear and saute. After that add a little bit of oil. Now when the oil gets hot, you want to insert your chunks and sear. After you're done searing, you want to cancel and then you're going to add four cups of water, onion powder, garlic powder, smoked paprika, bouillon seasoning, salt, Mexican oregano, Two cloves, two bay leaves, add your peppers, one carrot shaved and broken in half, one small onion and five cloves of garlic. Now I'm placing the top on and ensuring that the vent is completely closed. Set your Instapot to meat and stew, press start, and this should be done in about 30 minutes. I went ahead and diced up some cilantro and some yellow onion, and I also shredded some cheese. Now you can use whatever type of cheese that you like, but my family loves cheddar and Monterey Jack. And so this is actually a mixture. 
So it has been 30 minutes and now it's time to release the pressure. And be very careful, don't use your fingers. Use some type of tool so that you won't burn yourself, okay? Now it's time to remove the peppers and I'm going to get as many of the peppers that I can. Um, it's gonna be a little hard to get the small red peppers but it's okay because um, it's still gonna be flavorful. Now I went ahead and added the onion and I also added a cup of broth and I'm blending this up with all of those ingredients. After pouring the pepper mixture back into the pot, I'm going to cook this for another 15 minutes on meat and stew. And I'm just doing that because I just want all of those good flavors to like really soak into the meat, you know? So now it's time to cut up the meat. This is the most exciting part because we are almost done. Like we're halfway there. Okay, look how juicy and tender that meat is. Do you see it? And I'm cutting this in batches. If you have a bigger cutting board, you can cut it all at the same time. Now look at that consomme. Oh my goodness, it smells delicious. So I'm gonna show you how I dip it. Now you're gonna dip it like from the top because you wanna kinda get the oil. So once you dip it, you put it on the grill and you let it cook. And I'm gonna do mine on both sides because I like it crispy, crispy, extra crispy. Now you don't have to fry yours on both sides. This is something that I want to do because this is the way that I like it. Um, but I haven't seen anyone doing it on both sides. But once again, it's up to you. So now it's time to build your taco. So I added my cheese, now I'm adding my meat. Now I'm adding some cilantro. And I'm gonna add a little bit more cheese. Now this one is for my son, he gets the first one. He doesn't like onion. So once you build your taco, you want to flip it and be very careful because you don't wanna burn yourself. Now, once I have the crisp that I want, I'm going to flip it and I'm gonna crisp that side as well. So now these babies are done and I'm adding the consomme to these little salsa bowls and then as you can see I have some lime. After adding your consomme to your, your bowls in which I have salsa bowls, you can then dress it up however you like. Now sit back and watch. Now doesn't it look beautiful? Oh my goodness, it smells good, it looks good, it tastes good, oh my god. Um, yes, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, and subscribe. See you later. Bye.